In this tutorial, you will learn how to wrap text and custom shapes in Photoshop. First of all, pick up the Rectangular Shape tool, click on the Paths option on top, and draw the shape on the canvas where you want to add the text. Here, we don't want the text to overlap the image. Instead, we want to wrap the text around the image. For that, we will have to adjust the work path a bit. To do this, pick up the Direct Selection tool. Click on the path, add anchor points to your work, and adjust the work path according to this image. Once done, pick up the text tool and add your text. For this tutorial, we have chosen Myriad Pro for the font, keeping the font size to 31. Adjust the line spacing according to the image until you get the best results possible. Now, use the Crop tool to crop the image. Click on the text layer, move over to the Paths tab, right-click on the Work Path option, and click on the Make Selection option. Move back to the Layers tab, create a new layer, and fill the selection with black color. Move this layer below the text layer and hide this layer for now, since we're going to use this one later. Now desaturate the background layer and duplicate it. Once done, change the blend mode of the duplicated layer to Multiply. Now brush up the brush tool, use a soft brush, choose 999999 for the color fill, increase the size of the brush till it covers the whole canvas, and apply the brush. Once done, change the blend mode of the layer to Hard Mix. Now we will be adding a grunge pattern to the canvas. Adjust the size according to the canvas, desaturate it, and move this layer below the image layer. Now make the shape layer visible again and reduce the opacity of this layer to 50%. Open the Layer Style options for the text layer. Move over to the Color Overlay tab and choose white for the color fill. Click on the Drop Shadows tab, choose 5 pixels for the distance, 10 pixels for the spread, and 20 pixels for the size. Now change the position of the shape layer according to the image so that it looks like one continuous image, and change the blend mode of this layer to Overlay. And that's it for your basic structure. Now you can add more text and effects to the image, refine it a bit, and add to the design. Play around with the effects a bit and see what you can come up with. 